Justice Laurel and Maximo Kalalang versus A.D. Williams defined social justice as the humanization of laws and the equalization of social and economic forces by the state so that the justice in the rational and objectively secular conception may at least be approximated. It means the promotion of the welfare of all the people, the adoption by the government of the measures calculated to ensure economic stability of all the competent elements of the society, through the maintenance of proper economic and social equilibrium in the interrelations of members of the community. As we journey through the Philippines, we witness progress and the tireless efforts dedicated to social justice. Yet, there remain corners where the reach of aid is met with challenges. Hindi sinabatas na ang Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program o 4P sa programa ito. Tumatanggap ng pera ng ilang piniling pamilya sa ilalim ng ilang kondisyon. Kabila po ang magpasok ng mga bata sa eskwelahan. From the lowland, where access is favorable to the other beneficiaries, Pamalabod is a 30 minutes hubble ride. In this journey, the Department of Social Welfare and Development, or DSWD, stands as the guiding light, the lead government agency of For Peace. Fortunately, the smooth, cemented road makes the first part of the journey easy for the social workers. As you get closer, you'll notice that the road becomes rocky and uneven, which indicates that you're nearing to Pamalabo. As we approach our destination, the majestic mountains that surround us serve as a breathtaking backdrop. While they captivate us with their beauty, they also stand as a reminder of the obstacles that separate the people in these far-flung areas from the help they need. Nagsipagtapos ng unang limanda na taanim na putdalawang pamilya bilang beneficiaryo ng Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program o POPIS. Sila ay nakitaan at napatunayang nakatatayo na sa sariling mga paabilang masapagay. Republic Act Pilipino number 11310, known as an act institutionalizing the Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program or simply known as POPIS. As we draw near to our target location, a small narrow metal bridge emerged linking Pamalabod to more accessible sitio. This bridge serves not only to connect two communities, but also stands as a symbol of bridging gaps to provide aid and support to the residents of these remote areas. In Sitio Pamalabod, with approximately 1,500 population, almost 500 families are under the Four Peace Program. The government through DSWD envisions all Filipinos free from hunger and poverty have equal access to opportunities enabled by a fair, just, and peaceful society. With the commitment of the government to bring forth social justice programs together with the beneficiaries' accountability, this vision is not far from reality. Social justice program as envisioned by sections 1 and 2, Article 13 of the 1987 Constitution, as equitable diffusion of wealth, and the political power for common good. Regulation and acquisition of ownership, use and disposition of property and its increments, and even the creation of economic opportunities based on freedom and initiative of self-care. Naatay ginatawag na social welfare and development indicator mo na ang ginagamit na mo para monitor ang ilang progress sa mga qualified beneficiaries kung Sila ba na as a, upon entering sa program ng good, they are considered na na sila sa survival level or level 1. Naputay gitawag nga level 2 which is the subsistence level. Kana siya, makakaon na sila 3 times a day. Ipaiskwila nila ilang anak pero kailangan og assistance sa government para tuloy-tuloy ang ilahang progress. Or else, pinaka-worst kung dili sila tabangan, Ubalik sila sa level 1 na survival Japan. And then, napay isa ka poverty threshold na gitawag og level 3 or self-sufficient level. Dira, makita na to nga na na sila stable na income or ang members sa family mostly 
kuan na ni mga employable skills kay mga professionals na sila. DSWD Assistance covers initiatives ranging from education, health, and livelihood, and even women empowerment in the mission to create economic opportunities based on freedom of initiatives and self-reliance. The implementation of four Ps is a small component of the bigger picture of the social justice program in the Philippines. Pag elementary, 600 every two months. So, dalawa, dalawa na estudyante ang mag-away na ko is one, two. A remarkable young woman who stands as the family's first ever college graduate. Uh, isa po din siya na beneficiary na po sa high uh, Start siya high school. Patabang-tabang po itong pagbigla po na grant na para sa Yasser. Kung ito nakapusid siya o Kismilaw College. Kanang graduate me, uh, graduate siya itong last June 2015. Uh, With the unwavering determination and the effective use of the support provided, Kate's dreams became a beautiful reality. Her mother, a pillar of strength now proudly showcases Kate's graduation photo in their modest home. Maria, the daughter of Mrs. Jonah May and Carpintero and Kate's niece, is currently kindergarten and is also recipient of educational assistance. Just like her aunt, she aspires to become a teacher. As the sun rises on a new day, a heartwarming scene unfolds in the enchanting village of Maria. She gets ready for school, and just like her, children from the nearby village are embarking on their own journeys. To the west of Sitio Pamalabod lies another testament to the power of connection. A modest, narrow, metal bridge links for Oklam Plain. It's a bridge that stretches beyond its physical form, much like the tireless social justice efforts that unite these children's streams. Pamalabod Integrated School, where dreams take flight. We find a remarkable statistic. Among the roughly 400 students, nearly 200 are recipients of educational assistance. Almost 50% of the total population of the school are beneficiary. Gusto good sa DSWD nga makita na bawat pamilyang Pilipino kahit naman sa city o sa farm areas o sa bukit maka-access sila sa mga services nga gihimo gi sa, sa government. It was woven into the very fabric of our constitution, a mandate in Article 13 with a singular purpose to nurture the spirit of social justice. The Congress shall give the utmost priority to crafting measures that safeguard and elevate the dignity of all individuals. These measures seek to reduce the gaps that exist in our society, be they social, economic, or political. Further, in Kalalang case, the court has stressed more than once that social justice, or any justice for that matter, is for the deserving whether he be a millionaire in his mansion or a pauper in Hovel. 
It is true that in case of reasonable doubt, we are called upon to tilt the balance in favor of the poor, to whom the Constitution fittingly extends its sympathy and compassion. But it is never justified to give preference to the poor simply because they are poor or to reject the rich simply because they are rich. For justice must always be served for poor and rich alike, according to the mandate of the law. As we descend from the sitio, our eyes are on the metal bridge ahead. There's a collective hope that the bridge will continue to stand strong, bridging the gap within the community, fostering economic opportunities, and ultimately leading the sitio towards self-reliance. It's a symbol of what our country's social justice program aims to achieve. A promising beacon of hope that may not fully materialize today, but holds the promise of a brighter and more sufficient future for all Filipinos. <laughs>